You've been a bad boy. You stop raping these children. Now, go on. Go on. Go back outside. The park's down the road. Hey, you. Did, did you just smoke a joint? Is this what our country considers justice these days? This is just another one of the problems this country has. I am researching pandering and prostitution laws for a fugitive I am attempting to apprehend, and I stumble across a website with news press releases, and I've got to say, I am blown away by what I see. This one right here, third strike rape charges. Life in prison is the penalty, and the jury is hung. Okay, that's how our criminal system works. That's It's great when an innocent person doesn't go to prison for the rest of their life because there was uh, uh, some mistake somewhere, and that's the great part about our criminal system. He did not just one, two, three rapes, and they hung, oh, there was a hung jury. No. Uh, third strike, it's the same as in baseball rules. Uh, strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out of here, okay? It's the same for our criminal system. It's why we call it the strike system, okay? Basically, what happens is, or what happened is, this individual raped somebody, and he was convicted of that rape. We proved in a court of law, this mother right here raped somebody and apparently we didn't put him in prison long enough so uh, he got out or whatever and he raped someone again again that second rape is our fault because we didn't keep him in prison long enough so he was convicted for a second rape and then we let him out again after a second rape and a jury is scratching their heads going there's just not enough evidence in this case. Okay, okay. Clearly, he's at least con he's been a convicted rapist twice before. Okay. I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say there's enough evidence here to say that this motherfucker did it a third time. What do you think? I mean, we already know he likes to rape, not once, but twice that he's been convicted for. A hung jury? You're proud of that? Whatever. Let's go on to some more pressing issues. Now take this one into consideration. Child molestation charge. The sentence would be eight years. This motherfucker. Probation and work release. Okay, l let me let me be clear here. Eight years just ain't enough time. Okay, eight years means we're gonna let the fucker out early in three and a half and he's gonna run off and, and do it again. Okay, <clears throat> eight years, I think it should be 15. And the fucker can stay in there for the full 15 down to the day. But uh, this means this motherfucker was convicted. We proved beyond a shadow of a doubt this dude was over there doing something to kids. Yeah. And that motherfucker didn't do any jail time. He just... Yeah, I did it. Sure did. Where are my car keys? I gotta go to the park. See you later, Judge. Probation officer, I'll see y'all in a few hours. That's that's a big stupid problem this country has. Yes, you did. You molested. You, you raped. You did these things. Uh, well, we're gonna have a, a bi-monthly probation officer meeting with you from now on, okay? For like the next four or five years, okay? But other than that, here's your keys. Uh, the liquor store is down the road. And, uh, the public park is uh, over there, and school's out right now. So, uh, have a good day. It's like, what the f***? Really? He should have at least done the eight years, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not really sure how many times uh, multiple counts of child molestation includes. Whether it's just two or three or ten or a hundred or <laughs> I don't know. But it says life in prison. I I gotta say, when somebody has molested enough children that their charges are considered just, oh, multiple counts. Fuckers out there raping up a storm like a singles dude in a singles bar. And the only thing he gets is probation. That means he was, right, now keep in mind people, that he was convicted. We proved again, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this sick perverted fucker did this. This isn't about what happens if he did it, okay? We've proven that he did do it, whether he admitted it or whatever. <clears throat> so, 
His punishment is, what, a monthly meeting for 20 minutes with some probation officer? Why are we releasing these people back into the general population? Uh, they're just gonna do it again. Uh, statistically speaking, this is gonna, he's gonna leave his probation officer office uh, after a 20 minute piss test <laughs> and conversation, which will do nothing to him or for him because of all the raping. And he's just gonna go out and do it again because what was his consequence? What did he learn from this? He learned that he can go out and rape as many people as he wants, and in turn, all he's gotta do is have a, a monthly meeting for 20 minutes. So, back and forth trip, an hour out of his day, once a month, 12 hours a year. Pfft, I can do 12 hours a year, that's half a day. It's not like 24 hours a day, every day for 15 years. Mm. It's not even half a day over the course of a year. I can do that. I'm gonna keep molesting. Uh, uh, by the way, officer, um, now that we're done with our meeting, where's the public park? Yes, <laughs> what the f***? Now, this one right here, I saved for last, because it's, to me, by far the worst. Okay, we have six counts of rape, one count of molestation, and one count of kidnapping. Now, let, that's eight charges. And clearly, the if he was convicted of this, the max penalty was life in prison, Plus an extra 24 years, just to make sure that son of a bitch doesn't outlive himself, you know what I mean? And he got three years. Now, some people would say, well, he's doing time. He's doing time. That's justice. I call that bull****. Okay, if you remember earlier, we had another one where this motherfucker was apparently raping, and what did he have? One count of rape? And the sentence was up to eight years? This son of a bitch has six counts of rape one count of molestation, and one count of kidnapping. Keep in mind, again, we took him to court, and he was convicted beyond a shadow of a doubt that he was guilty, whether he admitted it or whatever to get his little plea deal. He was guilty, and he was found guilty in a court of law. And he gets three years. But let's just assume that, that they decide to do something they usually don't do and make him serve the full three years. That means for every person he raped, every, every conviction of rape he got, he's doing four months and two weeks. That's a hell of a sentence, huh? Well, I raped this one person and I got four and a half months. And then I raped another and got another four and a half months. And then I got I raped another and I got another four and a half months. And I did that six times, okay? And then I kidnapped somebody and molested them, okay? Uh, and then and then for that total combined, I got like nine months. <laughs> I can do it on my head, you know, because cause they were trying to give me, like, life and then more life. So that if I outlived my life, I would stay there, you know? But I got three years. <laughs> I'll be out in a year and a half. Is this what we call justice in this country? They would work their asses off and get a eight count rapist three years in prison out in a year and a half. And that's the kind of shit. this country is going straight to hell. I could stand here and make a 50 hour video on why this country is going straight to hell. But this issue right here just blows my mind because we take the criminal, we take potheads. It's not the government's decision to say, well, you can drink your beer and get drunk, but you can't smoke weed in your living room. There are people sitting in prison for years and years and years and years. Because, well, they had a dime bag on them. Sure did. Sold some to their friend, too. Cops saw that. <laughs> years, you know. That there's people in prison for that, and you can bet your ass they're gonna sit in prison for half, most of their term, okay? But when we take all these child molesters, people who actually cause harm to other people, smoke a weed don't cause harm to nobody except maybe your your pocketbook because you go out and buy all the munchy food. But these motherfuckers intentionally go out, kidnap kids, and, and rape them, and and then we set them loose right back on the street. So it's like, all right. Have you, you've been a bad boy. You stop raping these children. Now, go on, go on. Go back outside. The park's down the road. Hey, you, did, did you just smoke a joint? Your Honor, I recommend 10 years. And that's what our country has boiled down to. It's the stupidest, stupidest bunch of bullshit.